morning, everybody. I hope everybody is having a fantastic week before uh, before we jump into Christmas. Let me just turn on your space over here. I don't have it here. <laughs> well, why don't I have it here? My goodness. No, I do have it here. Oh, the chat overlay is on. Okay. No worries, then. We're good to go, and we are going to jump in. Um... <clears throat> Hope everybody's having a great week before Christmas. I am getting ready. I just recorded, literally just recorded this week's video, which is going to be a wrap up of 2019. I'm calling it my 3D printing professor, um, 3D printing professor rewind, which I think is kind of funny, but it seems to be what everybody's doing now. So there we go. It's the 3D printing professor rewind, but um, let's talk really quickly about the poll that is currently open, and I will put a, a link to that poll, hold on for a second, in the chat right here. So, that link right here will take you to the poll that we are about to take a look at the results of. Uh, so let's jump over and take a look at that before we get started this morning. So here are the questions. Uh, I want to, I'm, I'm getting ready to do the Kickstarter for next year so that I can afford to do some traveling and, and get out and meet you guys. And so here are the options. We could do Chibi RPG. We could do more, more Chibi Malls. We could do modular spaceships. We could do fantasy minis, just a regular fantasy minis, the, the sort of thing that you see tons of Kickstarters for, and they all do well, so I should probably do one of those. A board game token library. The idea behind this one is if you play board games, but they come with just like generic chits and, you know, wood blocks and stuff like that, wouldn't it be neat to, instead of having green blocks, red blocks, whatever, that they were actually the shape of something? Now, you can buy these libraries online, you can go out and, and buy uh, libraries of parts, but I think it would be much neater and, and something else to see uh, uh, just uh, instead of buying a box of parts and then using this one and using this one, having leftover parts, just have a 3D printable library, print the ones that you want, and then there's no waste. I, I think that this is a great idea. And then functional parts, just, just simply doing functional parts. And then there are two additional questions. I wanted to know where you guys would like me to go, and I want to know, um, well, this is an interesting question. What's your opinion on giving away models that money was raised for on a Kickstarter? I've seen other people doing that, and I'm curious. Are you guys for that or against it? And here's what you guys have said so far. Now, what I think is interesting. Now, obviously, modular spaceships is killing it. And I think it's very clear that we're going to be doing some modular spaceships uh, that they all snap together and things like that. So that is exciting. However, look at how well functional part. There are a lot of people out there who are in my audience who think that we should be making a Kickstarter of functional parts. That's interesting. That's very interesting to me. I'm not quite sure what to make of that, but there it is. Um, and then let's scroll down. I want to take a look at this one. If if we if you paid money for a model set, should they be given away? Now, this has been consistent. I released this first to the people who had already paid, to people who had backed me on Patreon and the people who had backed me on Kickstarter. And this has been pretty much it. Yes, they're okay with giving those models away after a period of exclusivity for those who paid, which means right now, maybe I could release the low poly dinos. I don't know if I'm going to release all the low poly dinos, but you guys are saying that would not bother you. And I'm, I'm hmm, that's interesting. And in the chat, we've got, uh, and Mavor and Farvatten, always Farvatten, welcome to the chat. All right, let's jump in, guys. That's that's something to talk about, but today we're going to be... So while right now I should probably be focusing on making some modular spaceships, I am instead 
going to work a little bit on a chibi person. Now, I want to mention that in my head, <laughs> in the story for chibi malls, there are no people in the world of chibi malls. Um... For, for various reasons. Uh, mostly because I, I, I don't want to tell you guys why. But there are no people. However, we do have an opportunity with that Chibi RPG. Because in Chibi Malls, they're going to be playing... Um, oh, I don't have my chat overlay on. Let's turn that on real fast. There we go. And... Yeah, and you know, there are a lot of people who, I, I should have put an option on there, it doesn't matter, I'll support you because I'll support you, and I think there's going to be a lot of people who are like that. Um, I think that Chiba Malls was largely based on that, but I'll tell you what, Chiba Malls brought me so much joy, and they still are bringing me joy, so I appreciate you guys letting me do that. But I feel like you guys were letting me do that, and that it wasn't that it was something that you wanted, and so I wanted to do... I want to do what you guys wanted. Now, logically, ideally, I should probably do the uh, the minis. Because those, it doesn't matter who does them, they always do well. But, uh, but you guys said modular spaceships. So we're going to do that. But like I said, I was really, really, really surprised to see how well... Um, Let's duplicate this and to see how well the idea of functional prints, that you guys really like that idea. I would not have expected that. Okay, I'm going to really quickly, I'm going to start out by kind of making this animatable and using a shrink wrap constraint means that I can move this object without constraints. Well, I lied. No. Yeah. It tries to keep it on the surface of it, no matter where you move it. See, I'm not... Oh, I forgot to turn on key press again. Okay, there we go. I always forget key press. Chibi dinosaur crossover. And there were people saying that, that I should do uh, low-poly Chiba malls and chibi dinosaurs and i should do chibi dinosaurs i think chibi dinosaurs would be great um i just i don't know we'll see where that goes i don't know if my chibi people are quite the right shape that's i'm not sure you know i need to upgrade to blender 2.8 whatever um Two point eight one A, I think we're on now. Cause they changed some things, and I'm not happy with the changes that they made. If I'm being honest, uh, they messed it up a little bit, but I need to get used to it, and I need to try it. So I, I need to go ahead and do that. Should I? All right, we're going to go with that for now. I wonder if I could... Nah, we're going to go with that for now. <laughs> um, oh, my goodness. I turned on... Okay, over here we go. So this morning, I switched things around a little bit. Usually, I've got two monitors here, one of which is running OBS, which is the streaming software that I send to you, and the other one is running... My, my modeling software, well, the second screen that I was using was a large screen, and so I was using that one for Blender, and OBS was on my, my main laptop screen. I switched those because that monitor, that second monitor, kept shutting itself off. And so, fine, no problem, I'll just turn it off. I'm done with that dang thing. <laughs> and, uh... And, uh... Um, so I turned off that one, but I had to switch it for one that was lower resolution. And because it's lower resolution, this is the color. I should name these. And feet. 
feet. This is feet left. And this is feet right. And I don't know if you guys can hear in the background. Uh, it's winter vacation time for the kids. <clears throat> so they are all home. And I am happy to have them home. Let's, there we go. But they are noisy, and they are going to make it difficult to stream. But for you guys, we're going to make this happen. So how's your Christmas going, guys? Are you are you all prepared? Have you bought all the presents that you need to? Um, or do you still have some more to do? Days are running out, guys. It's Wednesday. Christmas is Wednesday. And how many of you watching actually celebrate Christmas? I know that I have people from all over the world watch this, and so it would be interesting to me if some of you uh, didn't actually celebrate Christmas. Farvanton says he's all done. That's good. Let's see. What am I looking for? I'm looking for the shrink wrap. Yes. Shrink wrap, shrink wrap, shrink wrap. There it is. I can never find that one. All righty. Do we want to add some shape to this collar? Well, maybe we do. But later. Or maybe we do now. Who knows? Let's, right, let's take a look at this. There we go. There's our little bit shaped collar. Let's solidify it. The way we always do with the two Hanukkah for you. This we're this year we don't put too much work into it. Uh, why not? You got something against Hanukkah? <laughs> I'm joking. Um, oh, that 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 looks pretty good. I think that needs to be a little bit thinner. I think that needs to be a little bit thinner. That's better. <laughs> All righty. Let's grab. Hey. I gotta take Gabe to swimming. Okay, I'll oh. keep an ear out for the kids. Yes, if you, I'll be right back. If you want to, you can leave the door open. Or not. Turn off that. There we go. That's a better color. I need to make a belt too, though. Maybe I should just duplicate this, move it down, flatten it out. I don't know. Let's flatten it less. I still like the idea of it being, you know, just a little bit. So can you turn on subscribe and Twitch? I get Amazon Prime, so it's an easy way to support you. I would love to do that, but uh, I don't have enough viewers, nor do I stream enough for Twitch to give me the ability to, uh, to have subscribe. So that's just not an option for me, unfortunately, as much as I would like it to be. I, I basically just need to step it up. I need to do more. I need to do more Twitch. I need to get more viewers. I need to I need to stop slacking. I'm slacking, guys. I got to say I think that is a darn cute nose. Although I think it's too high. Uh, I'll play with it in just a second. See, I can't, I can't move it off. I can't take it away. It's stuck onto the face. And that's good. That's what we're looking for. But I want to make this 
a human shaped chibi nose. Let's see, align to normal. Ooh. <laughs> Let's see. Let's get the right axis. <laughs> kind of. Mostly. That kind of works. There we go. That's correct. All right. Nose is still a little bit off. It gets tilty. That is weird. Well, that aligned normal thing did not work out. It was interesting, though. It was a learning experience. Um, yeah. Well, I'll try to I'll try to stream more in the future and see if I can't build up my Twitch. I mean, it's it's something that I want to do. I want to play Minecraft with with my kids and with you guys. Um, I'm actually working on a Minecraft Raspberry Pi server. I got myself a Raspberry Pi four. That is a powerful machine. And, uh, and, um, subdivision, sir. No, I don't need to subdivide surface it. First, I need to shrink wrap it again onto the body. And actually, I need to mirror it. Where's my mirror modifier? Um,. Defined normal. I'm not sure what that means. We're going to mirror it around the empty. That way it shows up. I think we can only see this in the wireframe. Whoa. Whoa. I didn't realize this thing was so far away. There we go. That's better. And then, so that's the mirror. That's good. Uh, shrink wrap, that's proper. Subdivision surface after the solidify. And for solidify, we solidify it to uh, with a thing of zero, and then subdivision surface, and then I think we are looking good. I think I need to subdivide surface again. There we go. I feel like for the nose. First of all, there we go. I think that's a better shape for the nose. I think that's a little bit too big, maybe even. There we go. All right. Now, let me, let me look at myself. Okay. Do we need to put ears on a chibi person? A chibi person need. Hmm. So... It's what you want to use if you want to define what, oh, define what is normal. Uh, yeah, but I, I don't know why the normal tilts. I don't know why it tilts when I'm doing that. That's my question. Is why would I turn on a line axis to normal? Um, there, we'll do the Y because that's proper. But, well, hold on for a second. It doesn't tilt. I had the wrong axis. That's that's all there is to it. But this also means that, you know, if I go up here, the nose will be pointed up, as opposed to if I turn that off, it will still be pointed the same direction. So that's interesting. I don't know when I'm going to use that, but that's interesting. Now, I think we pretty much have our chibi person here. Uh, I don't I don't know if we need anything more than this right now, although um, I don't have the skin tone and I don't have the pants tone. Hmm. 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 Thinking. <clears throat> yeah, this is, so this is it, but here's the deal. Uh, this is not the chibi person and total, this is just the chibi 
Um, what am I thinking? This is just a base person. Uh, this is... This is a basic chibi person. Come on. And then what we do is we um, modify them. We add things to them to make them your chibi person. You know what I'm saying? So they go from being just a chibi person to being you as a chibi person. So that's the basic idea here. I wonder if I can get rid of the belt. Hmm. Let me see what I'm. Let me see what I've got going on here. Okay. First of all, the, oh, the nose is doing something weird. <laughs> all right. Let's uh, let's do let's add some texturing because I still I still like to create textures on objects even though. I'm not actually printing with the Da Vinci Color much these days. I want to tell you guys more about that um, in the coming little while. So I'm going to give this thing my skin tone. But if your skin tone is different, uh, then give it your skin tone. There's nothing wrong with that. And we're going to give him blue jeans because I'm currently wearing blue jeans. So I'm going to have to change before work. And he's got a white shirt on. I've got a white shirt on. That's fine. We'll do this. Pants. And we're going to we're going to create a new texture for the shirt. There we go. And yeah, my shirt is actually white, so we're going to give him a white shirt. But then this is skin. And we're going to give him... Actually, I'm going to give him a different color for the nose. I'm going to make the nose stand out a little bit. Good morning, Renaissance Tinker Dork. Remind me, I knew your real name at one point, but I keep forgetting it. Um, but good morning, buddy. How you doing? And eyes. And my eyes, by the way are blue, so we're going to uh, make them kind of a dark blue. They're blue, but they're dark blue. I feel like the eyes need to be bigger, don't you? There we go. Let's adjust this a little bit to make it a bit more... Like, there's a, there's a threshold where it's square, and then it's diamond, and you got to hit right between that. Look at that. Diamond, square... Just, just gotta, just gotta nudge it into the right one. Those eyes are too big. All right, we're gonna go with that for now. I feel like those eyes are too thick. Let me see. That's better. Hopefully, it'll print okay. All right. All right. So now, now that we've got the basic chibi mall person, um, and let's uh. Let's do the post work on that real fast. I always bring in a plane and I call them, you know, I'll give it a name. Um, we need to take all of these and move them all into, we're just organizing our space just a little bit. Fantastic. And then we need a final here. So let's create a new one and call it final and put the chibi person base. Now the chibi person base, if we look at it, is just, why is it also bringing in? Um, there we go. It's just a, a plane, but I'm actually gonna go in and delete all the vertices. So it's not even a plane, it's just an empty object, but it's an empty object that can take geometry so we're going to give it some geometry. We're going to give it the base body there, and we're going to make sure that it can do all the colors. So we're going to make sure that it has the skin, the eyes, nose, pants, and shirt. There we go. 
So there's the base body. And now we're going to add the, let's start with the eyes and the nose. Let's get the important parts first. Did I not rename the nose? I need to rename the nose. And then we're going to put his shirt on him. And we're going to put his legs on him. One foot at a time, just like everybody else. And then... There we go. And then I need one more Boolean operator. And I like to name these. So you'll, I hope you guys will endure while I just do some typing real fast. Um, got somebody chatting with me. I'll talk with them later. Let's rename that nose. Okay. Shirt. Uh, foot left and foot right. It's always nice to keep your huh, your space organized, which I can do while I'm digital. But boy, in real life, I cannot keep things uh, cannot keep things organized. I'm doing well, buddy. I'm doing I'm doing all right. We've had a I've had a quiet morning. Well, no, I have not. I've had anything but a quiet morning, actually. Recorded the video for this week because I've not found time to record that video. There's our basic chibi person, just kind of an egg-shaped person. But now, so now that we've done that, we can export that as an STL or an OBJ and then convert it to a 3MF. We can do whatever we want with that. But here's what we're going to do. Uh, let's go back out of local view. Are we in local? Now we're out of local view. Did I turn off my sources? How come I can't see my sources? No, I can't. Okay, the feet are just flatter than I thought. Okay, so here's the chibi person. There he is. Nice little round. That should print just fine. Did I move those feet forward far enough? Yeah, they're fine. They're fine. Now we're going to make it into a chibi me. So, um... Now, I know you guys want me to do the beard, and I should do the beard, but the beard is not going to be around for much longer, guys. Uh, it, it, it may make a return, but uh, for now, I'm, uh, I'm shaving it off as a Christmas gift to my wife. It's, it's gratifying to me to know that I can grow a beard so quickly. It really did not take me much time to grow this beard. Uh, so... Yeah. There we go. We're going to add a mirror modifier to the collar. Put it above everything else. There we go. And we're going to need an increase to solidify on that thing. There we go. Now we're going to take this and move it down here. Because I do always wear collared shirts. It's not just for video that I'm wearing them. Honestly, I wear collared shirts most of the time. And the reason being because they require it for work. And so... There we go. <laughs> There's my chibi collared. I think I need to move that collar together just a little bit more. But i got to be careful not to take it too far. Or it'll join... All right, let's work on a chibi tie. Oh, this is going to be adorable, guys. This is going to be adorable. Uh, what about summer holiday, Farvatten? What are you talking about? Did I miss something in the chat? I always hate it when I miss something in the chat. I think this color needs to go out just a little bit more. Oh, my next beard, summer holiday. Yeah, maybe. Um, and that'll also be convention time as well. That'll be when I'm going out to meet all of you guys. Uh, assuming that I can... My, so, the, the the next Kickstarter is... Oh, these, these need to go in source, guys. So, 
So my next Kickstarter is going to be modular spaceships. And I th I'm thinking right now that they need to be uh, kind of based on um, Legos. Because because that's that's the stuff to talk about right now. They're gonna be they're gonna be Lego based connectors. That said, I have no idea how I'm gonna do this thing. I really don't. Um, no, not subdivision. We'll do a subdivision surface later. We want to shrink wrap it first. I'm I'm having a hard time figuring out because I want these to connect. Well, if I'm doing it as Legos, I have to think about top and bottom, and I don't necessarily want to do that. But if I'm doing them as, uh, or if I can offset this, ooh, ooh, I should do that with the collar. I should offset the collar. Let's see. Yeah, that's the fix to that. Ooh, I just discovered something. That was great. All right. Let's solidify. Thickness of one. And subdivision surface. Ooh, we need to... Uh, if I crease that, will that work? Nope. Maybe when I solidify, I need to have a rim crease of one. Well, that made it better-ish. Now nah, that was good enough. That's good enough. Um, what was I talking about? I don't know. I talk about a lot of things, and most of the time they don't matter. So there we go. color we're going to make the tie. I'm not wearing a tie today. I took the tie off before recording. Uh, I, I was wearing a tie, but I don't know. So there we go. Next beard. Yeah, next beard, summer holiday. We'll see about that. That is a distinct possibility. That is the, the cheapiest of ties. Now, what else do I need to look like? Oh, I need glasses. That's what I need. So let's work on some glasses. And I think I'm going to do these. Maybe I'm going to cheat. I like to cheat. Uh, let's see what shape. My shape, my glasses are mostly squarish. We're going to use another modifier. This one is, well, first of all, we're going to mirror. And we're going to mirror it around the empty, because that's what we do. And then we're going to use, have you guys heard of the skin modifier? The skin modifier, well, I'll leave that in for now so you guys can see what the skin modifier does. The skin modifier takes all the lines and turns them into shapes, which is super cool. But see, I've got a line here that I don't need, so I erase that line. And yeah, that's what the skin modifier do. Now the skin modifier also works. Notice how it's wider than it is longer, and that's because I, I scaled it in the X, but not the Y. So all I have to do is apply the scale, and now the mirror modifier is fantastic. Uh, we'll quick put a subdivision surface mod subdivision surface on that, um, and you can subdivision surface. What's fun about this one? Let's let's copy. Let's do two subdivision surfaces: one before the skin and one after. See how that's working? So if we let's let's turn these all off and turn them on one at a time. So the mirror modifier obviously is just completing both halves of it. Subdivision surface modifier before. 
uh, does like that. It subdivisions that shape that we then skin. But now it's all blocky, so we subdivide, subdivision that surface. So I like how I like how the modifier works differently based on if you're doing it before or after. But I'm going to leave it this way uh, for now, and just uh, there we go. I need to put these glasses on the face. <laughs> I think that for chibi glasses, we're going to have to tilt the whole thing like this just a little bit. I also should probably thicken them up just a little bit. So let's, uh, that's maybe too much. This is a radius that we're talking about here. So, what did I accidentally do here? I think I only had some of them selected. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I didn't have these ones selected, so they weren't, it, it was changing the average, which is cool. I'm glad that it does that, but it's kind of difficult to undo that sometimes. All right, let's, we can do better. This is, this is fiddling. We always get to this part. We've gotten to this part. It's time to start fiddling. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I messed that up. Oh, that's terrible right there. Will that print without support? Not yet, but we'll get it there. <laughs> I love these little chibi glasses. I love how they just kind of, oh, that, that was cute. I think I could do that. But there we go, that's better. Yeah, the goal is always to get them to print without supports. Will these print without supports? Oh, great. I take off my glasses so that I can analyze the shape of them, and then I can't see. Oops. What am I doing? Come on, there we go. There we go. All right, so will this print without supports? Maybe not, maybe it won't. And you know what? That's okay. I'm not sure this one's about being printable. Although maybe it is. Maybe I'm gonna have to, maybe I'm gonna have to figure that out. Although at this size, I'm not even sure these glasses will print. I think that they're, they're too thin. I'm gonna have to, 0.6, 0.6, 0.6, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 
That is a nerdy little chibi mall, I gotta say. Do I really look that dirty? Yeah, yeah I do. <laughs> I know I do. Well, there we go. What do you guys think? Nerdy little chibi mall glasses. Nerdy little, not chibi mall. These are just chibi. Not necessarily chibi malls, but nerdy little chibi glasses. So there we go. We got a chibi tie. We got chibi glasses. I think so. I think it's nice. Um, oh, I'd complain that I look like Dilbert, but I look like Dilbert. Can't complain when it's true. I think I'm probably going to have to make these darn near black. All right, I should work on some hair because one thing that I got is I got great hair. Well, not when I do that to it. Okay, fantastic. So let's let's just start with a cube. Cubes are a great way to start modeling hair. Uh, let's just start blocking out. My hair goes up. Not quite like that. But this is just your, your standard modeling, cube modeling technique, which I think I went over. Yeah, I went over a little bit in the video. was in in one of my absolute beginner's guide we're going to subdivision surface this right now I kind of like that now uh, now let me see problem is I can't look at myself in the mirror I need a mirror here also what color should we make the hair it's not brown anymore. It's gray. We'll maybe make it a, a slightly darker, maybe slightly browner gray. But, yeah, it's gray. I can't deny that. Unfortunately, that's coming out flesh toned. Uh, no, no. I, I, just have to, I just have to embrace the gray. It is gray. Not white yet, but it's definitely, definitely gray. And that's okay. I'm okay with that. Okay, so my part is, is this a mirror? Let's see. So, no, it's not. It's flipped. So my part should be on, yeah, should be on that side. So it's going to go that way. Okay, good. Whew. That was complicated. I want to get it right. So we're going to go get that part in right there and this side is going to just keep on going like this. I've got to, I've got to do some work here. Okay. And I think, I think what we can do here is we can just Oh, no, not that. We'll just grab these guys. Boy, we're all over the place here. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Like that. Extrude it out. Down. Oh, that was cool how it just kind of like became the, that shape. That was neato. Uh, I like it when little moments like that happen. Oh, 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 yeah, no, that's no good. Okay, we'll work on that. We'll work on this. We'll get it. You know, sometimes you just got to spend some time fiddling. There we go. Yeah, 
yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is coming together. That is fun. I look more like George Washington at the moment. You know, I should put my sideburns in. Because uh, I normally normally keep sideburns. At the moment, my sideburns are lost in my beard. But they will be coming back. I keep them a little bit Elvis. Because of course I do. All right, that's looking okay. I think I need to, like, take care of that widower's beak. That's a bit much. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go with that. No, I do need to move that down. Rotate it. Yeah, that's, that's way too big. Okay, there we go. And then the other thing that I need to do is take these parts here and move them back just a little bit. There we go. Now, okay, now here's where I got to get clever. Um, let's pull up face editing mode. Because here's the deal. I got to put a part. Oh, my goodness. All right, there we go. So I got to put a part right there. Maybe I already achieved it, but we'll play with it. All right. Oh, my background is too dark. I can't see anything. There we go. <laughs> no, it's too light. All right, there we go. And there we go. Okay. Sorry, silently working is not good for streaming. Okay, let's... You know, part of me says, oh, that back, that's that's too much, and I need to scale it back. And part of me says, the back of my hair can get kind of unruly sometimes. Maybe I should play into that, just lean into it, you know what I'm saying? Oh, let's get that other sideburn on. This is so self-referential, you know. <laughs> so much of uh, just kind of making fun of myself. All right, let's, uh, oops, not that one even up those sideburns and now let's go to wireframe mode we're just going to even up those sideburns and then Now I gotta get that part. Although I don't really have a. Oh my goodness, what is that? Oof, that's a thin spot, is what that is. Oh, thin hair. But I don't really have a part. So, yeah. So I probably don't need to do anything more than just right there. Not even that far back. Drop that just a little bit. 
Oh, I see what's going on. I don't want that part. Okay. And then let's work this up just a little bit. It's kind of sculpting my hair. How's that look? So, there we go. Does that look at, Ooh, that does not look anything like me. It's a bit much. Okay. All right, what do you think? What do you guys think? Does that uh, does that look like me? I don't know. <laughs> Minus the beard. We'll work on a beard. Um, I have to go though. It's it's about time. Uh, so we've made we've made a little we've made some progress on our cheapy people. Now what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to allow you. I'm going to make uh, RPG elements for them so you can make them into wizards and knights and things like that. So the glass is probably not as much, but I should work on a beard for them. Um, I wonder how a cheapy beard would look. Let me just draw on him real fast and see how that would look. So, if we do, like, it would have to be like that. And then the beard itself would come this way. Like, it would have to be snug up there because we don't have a whole lot of room. But, you know, I could use this to make cheapy Uncle Jesse and and uh, Chibi Joel and all sorts of other YouTubers. I think that would be fun. Uh, I don't know. I think I did a terrible job on myself, though. I don't think that looks anything like me. But maybe you guys disagree. Maybe you guys think that I nailed it and that looks exactly like Chibi Me. And uh, well, if so, then there you go. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you guys have a, a good week. Um... Be sure to vote on what Kickstarter is going to be next. And as always, I want to remind you, safety first, because I care about you. And I'll see you next time.